information for our podcast. Um, maybe the week after the anime. Pretty sure we're not going to get much seen today, but uh, I'm going to go and ask, ask you questions like how are they surviving after, after this, the week goes and then we'll get some interviews. Uh, I'm a big one actually coming up right now, but uh, we'll get some interviews of cosplayers, you know, fans, kind of go around the con. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, and this is SACCON um, in June. So uh, yeah, stick with us and uh, yeah. Uh, Um, here's a great cosplayer. Um, tell me, uh, what's your name and what gave you this idea to make this costume? My name is Luciferia. At least that's my screen name. People call me Lucy by a moniker. This costume was actually commissioned by a man on Dark Knight Armory, or was that a concern? Either way. <laughs> For the most part, yeah, I wanted to be a blood elf paladin, because being a hunter is a little trite, a little too hard to do. So I saw this and said, hey, well, are you capable of making this in this color scheme and like this? And he's like, yeah, I can do that. So I've been wearing this in Phantom Expo of last year. Nice. And don't get tired of it. <laughs> Although I get tired in it. <laughs> I can tell with the... Understandable. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can tell with the armor with the shoulder pads and everything. How do you... I mean, like, I know it's a lot of put on, but like, how do you like, kind of maneuver in it? It's... It's 45 pounds altogether, counting the water that I'm carrying and the sword that weighs maybe a pound and a half. Um, mm -hmm. Not real sword, foam rubber. And it's more of, I keep this side all fastened up and buckled, and I just slide it on one shoulder, lean over as far as I can to my right, pull on one of the straps until it goes through the loop, and then hopefully by then I'll have remembered to put on the tabard first, which goes underneath all the armor, which most of the time I don't, and I wasted 30 minutes getting into my armor. <laughs> wow. It looks like like the person that commissioned it was really, uh, an awesome job in costume. Um, when you first put it on, and when you were explaining it, it's like, what was the reaction to the crowd? When I first arrived in Anime Expo, it was kind of like, I ran into an old friend of mine, and she usually plays a uh, Faye Valentine, and she kind of just shook her head and said, wow, you're not going to be moving anywhere. You're going to be staying in one spot. And I was like, no, I'm not. This isn't that good of a cosplay. Then my friend, who was also playing a blood elf and was dressed up as a blood elf, she came meandering over to say, oh, it's good to see you again. We hugged, and a circle formed around us, and uh, we didn't move for the next hour and a half. <laughs> And for some reason, they were telling her to move over to the side so they can take pictures of me. And there were a bunch of dudes. Interesting. You. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice story. So, um, what's your uh, next plan as far as going to Anime Expo? Um, going to Anime Expo again this summer, uh, July 1st through the 4th. And I'll be wearing this, I think, on the first day. And then the rest of the uh, the con is going to be spent as Kale Boss Sunstrider that I wore at BlizzCon last year. Which again, I'm going to BlizzCon again. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so once again, you'll see Kale Boss Sunstrider, maybe on stage, maybe not. Depends on if I have the grapes to show up on stage again and make an ass of myself twice. Well, <laughs> time <laughs> I think you for taking the time and Not wrong. Us awesome Thank you very much. All right. Peace. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Hey, Jeff.
Alright, it's recording. Everybody's Anthony Jonathan from the Mission Talk Podcast. I'm here with uh, a good buddy. Where are you? <laughs> um, so, I want to ask you, um, what's your name and why did you choose to ride? Oh, my name's Eric, and I I could like make up some like like uh, just ride my favorite character, but um, I think it all comes down to is that, um, uh, the ability to make your uh, uh, fabric and stuff that you have, your your tools that you have. Um, and I just chose Ryu because I thought I just wanted something that looked really cool, and I just ran through the list what I could make, what I could do it. I was just told that there was a co- there was a anime thing a few days ago, thanks to Warshack. <laughs> awesome. Um, how long did it take to make the Actually, not very long at all. Uh, <laughs> maybe two days. Like a day to uh, list all the pieces that I need, and then a day to buy them all and uh, cut stuff up. Is this your first time offering writing today, or is it uh, one of the fourth? Uh, this is my first time. This is brand new out of the package. It's quite sealed holding uh, I don't. I'm not that good at iron. <laughs> if, if, I, if I wore this more than once, it'd be all wrinkled. Right, right. I think they do. I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, um, are you trying to go into any other kind of things in the future? I can go as much as I can. I, I want to I wanna go as many as I can. But, the cosplay people are the best. I, I mean, other people, they, they, they go around buying the stuff, and, and they're happy to see you sometimes. The cosplay people, they're the ones really excited to see other cosplayers. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that was one of the first things, you know. You see that a good cosplay, it's like, oh, how did you, you pull that off? You know, it's like, you know, you're exciting that to you. Mm-hmm. Probably get that. Like, you may get better, you have to find good. It's really awesome. Um, one last question. Do you play or do you have to play for? Uh, I think I played a demo. I played a demo. Uh, not for very long. Uh, I wouldn't have uh, any really opinion about it because uh, I always have to wait for the actual game. Things right. change. Right. Things change. Right. Are you planning to get into the future or wait until... Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. Alright, I know, just uh, let me know what you do when I find you. <laughs> <laughs>